right so here we check if we've reached the end of the page link so we say if current link um, is more than page um, links um, why isn't that given okay let's just do page links dot length if it's at the end of the page links we just as, um, take it as uh, take it to the assign it a number of one that is just say it's um, at the first one okay so we just give it one so next what we want to do is we say we try to figure out what the next link to be clicked on is so we say next link um, equal to page links dot filter remember you use filter if the um, list of elements you have are the ones that you want to retrieve not what's inside of them okay so dot filter active link right so dot next instead of previous because we're going forward and if the next link dot length is um, next is equals to zero we just say next link equals to page links dot first right so finally we just trigger the event the click event on that element and we're done all right guys so let's go in our browser and just try this out so refresh and if we hmm, seems like it hasn't actually assigned this here so what's happened um, let's go in our console and see what's going on refresh so it seems like still working fine let's go in our um, text editor and see what we did wrong or what we missed so um, hmm. we're saying when the fir page first loads just take the link and just add a class of active link to it so first of all let's see if active link is actually being added to our um, element so here let's drill down and just use um, so add class uh, no it's not being added actually so oh I know what I did wrong <laughs> so links dot siblings instead of just the links because I did add uh, class to that link and then I just removed it so basically I don't want to remove it from that same link I want to remove it from the siblings so si basically what siblings means is um, if this is the class that we have if this is the link element that we actually are targeting the siblings for that is the surrounding one so if this is the one we're targeting siblings are this one this one and this one okay all right so let's just refresh now let's close this and see if that's working refresh Alright, yeah, that seems to be working fine. So when I click on number two now, that should be highlighted. And it isn't. So let's see what happened. Alright, we'll do that in another video. But for now, let's just make sure that this previous and this next one have been um have been targeted. Alright, so click on next. Yeah, that seems to be working. Next. Seems working. Next seems working and next yeah it goes to the first one just make sure that previous works as well yeah previous seems to be working right so as you will see when I that's done this next and previous links are working fine but when I click on this first one it goes ahead and loads the right um, post using Ajax but it doesn't highlight that one all right so let's actually go ahead in another video um i'll um, fix that in the next video coming up so that's it guys um in this video we had a look at um how to fix how to add previous and next links to our um page links in advanced jQuery's pagination so in the next video we'll have a look at how to fix this uh, this issue of when you click on the links it doesn't highlight that link actually all right so that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video all right bye bye